Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube family? Uh, right now, we're back here early in the morning, cleaning up all uh, these pups, getting ready to mop the floor, freshen up the uh, wood chips up under my uh, poop drop setup, guys. Right now, it is 4.51, 4.51 in the morning, guys. Up early morning grinding, getting this stuff done. Um, you guys be sure to stay tuned. Pups did turn three weeks old today. It is Friday morning, guys. So shoot this video. I'm gonna go ahead on the drop early this morning. Stay tuned, guys. We'll catch you in the next scene. All right, guys. As you can tell, we got all that straightened up. We got everything cleaned out. Freshen up the wood chips. Mop, sanitized everything. Now it's time to put the puppies back in. One thing I like about this setup, guys, it keeps the pups nice and dry. You don't have to worry about them stepping in their pool, laying in their pee. I mean, I feel like this is a great um, idea that I came up with, guys. Uh, so we're gonna put these pups in one by one. Like I said, guys, it's early in the morning. I figured I'd do my uh, cleaning back here first. Then I'll go ahead on and feed them before my day begins. You guys can tell they're walking on the platform. Great. Um, Due to the fact that they're still able to slide through the cracks, guys, I got some leftover wood for my... uh other half's business. So I use that to kind of block the outside wall. Right? But that's the whole seven piece right there, man. Cups are doing great. Cups are doing real great. Um, We still have available spots in this litter. The female is the spoken for. And Mr. Myers, um, he reserved him a male. So we still got a we still got quite a bit of males available, guys. We still got quite a bit of males available. I want to appreciate those guys who's been calling me, asking me questions and things like that. You know, it's my uh, job not only to make sure you guys are um, getting what you like, but also to serve you guys with the best customer service as I possibly can. So shout out to all those guys and young ladies who's been giving me a call wondering, asking, and inquiring about these puppies, guys. This is what we do it for here at Davis Rock Rollers. Um, so with that being said, anybody else who would want more information on these pups, feel free to give me a call at 863-547-5375, guys. And we'll talk a little turkey, and hopefully you guys can add a new family member to your household. Yeah, you see how that one is. They, these pups are smart. Once they figure something out one time, they're going to keep trying. So I'm going to take these couple pieces of wood and uh, put it around the perimeter of their uh, of their uh, playpen, guys, to keep them in. To keep them in. Um, And these guys turned three weeks old today. Three weeks old. You walk away, Bob. Good job. I just simply got stuff that down there like that to keep them in. It'll probably only have to be down here for about like a week once they start getting a little bit bigger. But as of right now, this is what I kind of came up with to make sure I keep them all up in there. Still got that heat lamp on them too as well, guys. Still got that heat lamp on them too as well. I just sit it right here in the corner, just like that. Kind of keep that heat going on them. They're almost to the age where they can regulate their own body heat, but hey, I got the lamp, it's not hurting anything, so I'm just gonna keep it going.
Yeah, man. Early morning grind. Early morning grind, man. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, right? Yeah, it's 5 o'clock in the morning right now. And we back here making sure these dogs took care of, man. You can tell no matter how much you clean, guys, they gonna do what they do. And sometimes guys when they use the restroom sometimes it drops straight through but if they poop on the beans of course guys it's not going to drop through so sometimes you have to just you know pull out that, that little broom like i just did and knock it down to the floor it's no big deal you can tell over here it dropped perfectly fine so but it keeps the pups nice and clean man it keeps them nice and clean and when I did build it, it didn't take too long. We did a video on it, and it was cost efficient. I mean, ain't no telling what they would have charged for something like this if I bought it out of the store. Pups have already been warmed too. I'm gonna go ahead on and warm them today since they turned three weeks old. I start my warming process at two weeks of age, and then I warm them once a week. I warm them once a week after that, but two weeks of age, we start their warming. Uh, they're doing good being weaned off mom. They're on the mush. Everything's going good, guys. I can't complain. Now my main focus is to make sure they stay nice and clean, stay on time with my deworming. Um, just pretty much just keep a close eye on them, make sure they get fed at least three times a day. And uh, now it's time to get that weight back on mom. It's time to get that weight back on mom, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, these seven pups weren't playing no games. They were sucking them dry and taking them down. So, yeah. So, yeah, he just drop it. He just drop it and just knock it straight down, guys. He just knock it straight down. Another thing, too, guys. A lot of people ain't going to speak on it, but, you know, you can tell a difference from a pup that was taken care of and a pup that's not. Like, you know what I'm saying? If a pup is always in filth, when, when when they drop that poop, they'll stay right by it. Or they'll lay in it. Uh, these dogs are, uh, I try to keep them washed. <clears throat> I wash them like every two days. Or sometimes I just take a wet, warm rag, soapy rag, and wipe them down. Um, of course, when they was nursing on mom, I was washing them more frequently. Just because, you know, mom was in there. And let's just say if I was going to work, sometimes mom would have an accident. And the pups would kind of be in it. But with this setup here, man, you ain't got to worry about too much about having wet puppies. Unless they step into their water bowl. In which they have done that a couple times. But far as them being wet with their pee and being covered in poop, we don't have that problem here. Because we, we on the uh, around the clock care. And then when we're not home, our setup makes it to where it, it's not going to get that bad. So, you know. You got to find little things and come up with ideas that's gonna that's gonna make the job kind of easier. Don't get me wrong, it's still a lot of work dealing with these dogs, but it's not as near as much if I had them set up in the pool with the wood chips because the the, the poop and the wood chips get stuck together, and then you have this and that. With this, you don't have that problem, man. That little separation is awesome. Check them out. Trying to jump the yard. I got pieces of wood I got to put on that side too, guys. As you see, they're starting to get bigger, so you ain't gonna be able to keep going through there. I don't want them to get stuck either. Yeah. But yeah, guys, let me finish going ahead doing on what I'm go, go ahead on and finish doing what I'm doing, and we'll be sure to catch you in the next scene, guys. Alright, guys, we just finished our morning cleanup. Now it's time for our morning feed. We got them uh, some mush mixed up, so it's time to put it on. You can tell pups are kind of relaxed and sleeping, but I know for a fact they're hungry because I haven't fed them since last night. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, 
it's still kind of new to them. So you put them over in it, guys. It's still kind of new to them. Like they get older, as soon as I drop that bowl, they'll go crazy. But it's still kind of new to them. Come on. As you can see, guys, they're taking to it a lot better. They get better and better each time, man. For those of you who tuned in to that live video, they weren't messing with it at all, boy. They were fresh off mom then. They ain't been on mom today, so. If they get them up in here today. There you go, buddy. Come back, little man. And I can step in here, which I do it all the time. Just when I get out, I just spray spray the um ground with bleach. Right. Okay. Yeah guys, so this is pretty strong for those of you guys who was wondering. I'm uh, 235 pounds and it's holding me with no pressure. So as far as with these dogs, it's gonna hold these puppies. I wouldn't put a grown dog on it though, because the chicken wire, probably with, with the weight of a grown dog, it'll probably mess up the bottom of their feet. Probably cut up the bottom of their feet, but for these pups, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. Um, last little we had, some of them, some of them uh, went to their forever homes kind of late. And the heavier they started to get, you can just start to see a little bit of wear and tear on their body just from the chicken wire. But when these pups are young like this, and if they all go to their forever homes within that uh, eight week period, you won't have no problem. You won't have no problem at all. So that's one of the cons when it comes to this thing. Two cons, just you know, when your pups get a little bit up in weight, you want to win, you don't really want them on there. Cause you don't, you don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Go to getting on their elbows um, and the support beams the support beams is a con because sometimes they poop on the support beam of course it's not going to fall and then sometimes you know when they do poop in the right place sometimes you have to push it through more so when they get uh, of age when they get older but it is what it is guy like i say man this is an early morning grind right now it is 5.28 in the morning, guys. 5.28 in the morning. These pups are three weeks old now. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. And like I say, guys, I'm going to show you guys as much behind-the-scenes footage as I possibly can. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.